What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the all new iPhone 5. Now I have the two color variations here, white and silver, and black and slate. That's referring to the two materials they're using, glass and aluminum. The white version is using white glass with raw aluminum, versus the black version, which is using black glass and anodized aluminum for that color. Now I just want to show you guys, this is how they ship from Apple in these nice little containers here. Now they're available in three capacities, 1632 and 64 gig, with three pricing levels to match that, 199 299 or 399 on contract and add about $500 to that pricing and you get the off contract pricing. So again the major new features here are a 4 inch screen. This is the first screen size increase for the iPhone since it debuted. We go from 3.5 to 4 inch. We still maintain that retina display but we get 40% better color saturation for true sRGB uh, standards. So this is what Apple says the most accurate display on the market right now. We also get 4G LTE so that means we have three versions of this phone. These happen to be AT&T. There's also a Verizon version and there's a global version so there's three iPhone 5s uh, that match certain LTE uh, networks. Now we also get new A6 processors which double the performance of the iPhone 4S both in graphics and CPU speeds and we get double the RAM so we go from 512 to 1 gig of RAM. So let's take a look around the box starting with the white iPhone. So we have iPhone 5, the profile of the device, Apple logo, iPhone 5. It, it also knows they included a different type of font, actually kind of nice here, and the Apple logo. On the back you have our capacity and some information about the device. So let's go ahead and crack this open. All right, so let's just lift the lid. There is the iPhone 5 resting in its tray, still wrapped in plastic. So let's just pull this up, set this aside for now, and we'll take a close look at that in just a minute. First up is the package contents. We have a little tab in here to lift up. You can see we have a little tray there. So on this envelope, we have designed by Apple in California. We can peel this open, and what you're not going to see here on the U.S. version is a SIM card ejection tool. Uh, those usually don't ship in the U.S., but they do ship with the international version. So we have some layers here, hello, which is basically a guide on how to use all the new features, particularly with iOS 6 on the new iPhone 5. We also have some basic info here, and of course we have very large Apple stickers. Now also new with the iPhone 5 are the new EarPods. I've already done a review on these, so I'll post a link in the description below so you can take a look at that. I really like these, these uh, headphones. Now what's interesting here is that they've included a carrying case. Uh, so these are the EarPods with the remote and microphone, uh, so you can control your phone directly from this uh, piece that rests along the wire. These do sound excellent, uh, definitely a big improvement over what existed, but I am, I am quite surprised that they've included this sort of a carrying case with them. Usually they kind of just bundle them in a wrapper, so that's kind of nice. Here we have our power adapter, our wall wart rather, so this is our USB power adapter. Looks unchanged, in fact they still have that uh, green uh, spot here just to let you know that uh, this is not one of the recalled units. We also have our new lightning connector in this little wrapper here. So the lightning connector now has this very, very small uh, eight pin connector that's all digital, no more analog. Um, of course, if you wanna use your existing 30 pin dock connector products, you're gonna have to buy an adapter which Apple does sell separately. And we have a slightly shrunken down USB connector at the other end. All right, so let's just lift the plastic off the iPhone 5. Now taking a very close look around the iPhone 5 and just like the iPhone 4 and 4S it's entirely metal and glass, no plastic here. But with the iPhone 5 it's much more metal than glass. They're now using an aluminum unibody construction. So we got this nice one piece aluminum design. We do have these glass inserts for radio transparency through the back of the iPhone. Uh, and uh, you can see they're very flush to the edge of the bezel here. So you can see they do not stand above the bezel like they did with the old iPhone. Very smooth and flush fitting. Along the edge you can see we now have this polished bezel here or chamfer. Uh, the Apple says they use diamonds to polish this edge. So you get this nice mirror finish and you get this nice satin finish to the aluminum on the side. So here we have our SIM card, our SIM tray, which now uses a nano SIM and I'll pop that out so we can take a look at that. Now up here you'll find those familiar antenna breaks from the iPhone 4 and 4S. Now this time they're color keyed to the device, so the white iPhone has white antenna breaks. On the top we have our sleep wake button, uh, and again no headphone jack this time, and no microphone at the top this time. On the front you'll find our new front facing FaceTime camera with 720p recording. There's also a backlit illuminated sensor, so it's a much higher quality a camera than before and we also have an ambient light sensor next to that and we have our earpiece. Now also buried in that earpiece is a microphone. There's actually three microphones on this device and we'll show you the others once we get there. We have our sleep wake button here 
not sleep wake button, I'm sorry, uh, mute switch here. We also have our volume controls up and down, very familiar here. Uh, on the bottom we have our new headphone jack which has been repositioned to the bottom along with our microphone, our new lightning pin connector, as well as our new speaker which is now using a 5 magnet transducer versus the 3 magnet transducer from the old iPhone so it's a much higher quality speaker. Now on the back you'll find the newly improved iSight camera which is pretty much the iPhone 4S camera but now features a sapphire crystal lens for better durability and clarity. We also have better low light performance, better image stabilization for 1080p video recording. You'll find another microphone right next to that along with an LED flash which seems to be more recessed this time so possibly less glare into the camera with this version of the flash. And on the back we have the Apple logo which is polished into the unibody of the metal so you can see it kind of has a nice a mirror finish to it with a slight grain. Looks very sharp. Overall the design is pretty impressive. So that's the white version. Now let's take a look at the black version. So again this is the iPhone 5 AT&T version but this one is 64 gigabyte. Alright so let's just lift the lid here. And there is our black and slate iPhone. So let's just quickly get through the contents. So you can see the packaging is also all black. Looks like there's a little leftover here from the factory. So that's the tray. We have a little uh, booklet here. Again black. Again, no SIM card ejection tool. Same literature here. So we have our uh, instructional literature on iOS 6. We also have Apple stickers. We also have a pair of ear pods. The power adapter still wrapped in plastic. And our lightning cable. Now just like the white version, the black version is also all glass and aluminum, but the black version gives us this anodized chassis so we get this nice slate color, different than the raw aluminum we're used to with most metal devices from Apple. Uh, so you have these uh, black windows or black glass panels at the top and bottom, again for radio transparency. We have our cameras and flash, our nice polished Apple logo here, polished into the aluminum. Um, along the side you have the antenna brakes along with the SIM card tray. Again the antenna brakes match the black of the iPhone. We have this nice black front panel which does a good job sort of merging the screen and the bezel so it looks very smooth and uniform. Again also hides all the ports so we don't see the ambient light sensor or the camera hole. You see the earpiece and we have the color keyed buttons along the sides for uh, vibration as well as volume up and down. Now along the bottom again we have all of our ports along with the bezel which is nicely polished to a mirror finish. Now looking at the two colors side by side you can see obviously the same difference with the iPhone 4 and 4S with the front panel on the black model doing a better job sort of hiding the borders between the display and the bezel and of course does a better job hiding the ports and cutouts for the various sensors you need. And of course looking at the back obviously we have the raw aluminum versus the anodized aluminum so this is obviously much lighter much brighter versus the darker stealth look of the iPhone 5 in black. Now looking at the devices side by side again you can see very similar in design with those mirrored polished champagne edges looks very sharp. It's a different effect on the white phone. You can see it's more of a mirror versus the smokier look on the black version of the iPhone. You can also see that the antenna bands are color matched to the devices and of course the buttons are color matched to which color you have here. On the bottom you have also color matching inserts for the lightning connector as well as headphone jack. Uh, you can also see that if you look deep into the lightning connector you can see how that uh, connector works. So you can see that there's a single row of eight pins along with friction fittings along the side and that's how the uh, uh, connector works. Now what's great about the lightning connector is that it is reversible so you can install it either way. So let's go ahead and check that out. So here we have the new lightning connector again reversible so you can see the eight pins on either side. So you just pop it in, snaps into place and it's pretty strong. So you don't have to worry about pulling this out too easily just like the old 30 pin dot connector and it's reversible so you can install it in either direction and it works the same. Now if we compare this to the iPhone 4 and 4S, again you can see we have a 3.5 inch screen versus that 4 inch screen. You can also see that the bezels on either side are smaller. So if you compare them side by side, you can see that they've pushed the screen out uh, farther to the edges. Now the iPhone 5 has also done some repositioning here. So we have the FaceTime camera above the earpiece and the sensors to the left of the earpiece. So that's kind of a swap around from the iPhone 4S. Now you also notice that despite having a much better camera than the iPhone 5, it's much smaller than the iPhone 4S camera, at least the bezel is smaller. Now the iPhone 5 is also 18% thinner than the iPhone 4S and 20% lighter and that definitely, you can definitely tell the difference when you're handling the device. So if you look at them side by side again you can see that thickness on the iPhone 4S versus the iPhone 5. You can also see that there's less bezel or less of a, uh, you know, the bezel around the glass. You can see this kind of a plastic bezel around the glass. 
uh, that is now much thinner. Apple has been able to really thin out the device thanks to this new in-cell touch technology versus the IDO layer that used to lay over the panels on the iPhone 4 and 4S. So they've been able to really shrink down the uh, glass and a screen on the iPhone 5. So if you look at that versus the iPhone 4, again, you can see it looks pretty chunky uh, by comparison. Now you can see they've done some repositioning here. So we have the headphone jack along with the microphone on the top of the iPhone 4S, but all of that has been moved around on the iPhone 5. So we have three microphones here. We have one in the earpiece, one right behind the camera, and one uh, down here near the uh, talking end of the iPhone. Uh, up here you have just the one up here and the one down here, and that was it. This also gives the iPhone 5 some active noise cancellation so it can actually through the earpiece cancel out the ambient noise in the room to help you hear your call better which is kind of interesting now some of the big changes are evident on the bottom so we have the iPhone 5's headphone jack now located at the bottom versus the top in the iPhone 4S the speaker and microphone grills are much larger and that accompanies this this is the speaker side and that, that accompanies a larger better speaker system and obviously the big difference here is the new lightning connector now much smaller than the 30 pin connector now along the back you can see that the iPhone 5 is actually using the same camera but they're using that sapphire crystal lens cover. You can also see that there is a microphone next to the camera and the LED flash has been moved farther away and is now recessed hopefully to mitigate glare. Now the volume up and down buttons appear to be about the same but the, the vibration switch is now slimmer on the iPhone 5. And of course there is a huge difference on the back panel so we have this nice aluminum unibody design versus this glass panel on the iPhone 4 and 4S. Now the iPhone 5 is also the first to use the new Nano SIM, so I want to take a look at that. Now I have a spare ejection tool which Apple didn't include, but I have one laying around. So all I have to do is put it into this port, pops right out, so we can grab the tray and slide it out. So there you go, that is the very, very tiny Nano SIM card. So let's take a look to see how this compares to the mini SIM. Now the tray is very similar to the iPhone 4S, but you can see that it is quite a bit bigger by comparison uh, to the Nano SIM in the iPhone 5. All right, so we spent enough time with the white version. Let's go back to the black version and set it up for the first time. So I'm just going to hold the sleep-wake button up top and let it boot up. All right, so we have iPhone. Let's get started here. English, next. United States, next. Time capsule is my local Wi-Fi network, so I'm going to sign into that. Now I have to go through the activation step, so I have to enter in my billing zip code. All right, looks good, so I'm going to enable location services, click next. You also have the option to set this up as a new phone, restore from an iCloud backup or restore from an iTunes backup on your computer. I'm going to set this up as a new phone for now. Now I just need to sign in with my Apple ID. Next up is iCloud setup, and of course I want to use that. That will sync my calendars, bookmarks, uh, reminders, everything you can think of. And now it wants me to back up to iCloud or back up to my computer. I'm going to see my computer for now. And I want to use Find My iPhone, which will allow me to track the phone if it's lost, lock it, that sort of thing. I'm going to use Siri, of course. And I'm going to automatically send diagnostic statistics. And I'm going to start using my iPhone so we can start taking a look around here. So now that we have that four inch screen, we now have more screen real estate. So instead of four rows of apps, we now have five rows of apps. So it gives us a little more room to breathe. Now, all apps that from Apple obviously have been updated for this larger screen resolution, but not all third party apps will be. Uh, so that means that uh, third party apps will run in sort of a pillar box form. So basically, they'll run on a 3.5 inch version. Uh, they'll run in their 3.5 inch version so you'll see black bars at the top and bottom obviously that's going to be less obvious on the black iphone versus the white iphone uh, but in time once those apps are updated they'll be pushed out to four inches now the screen is also true 16 by 9 so for 16 by 9 movies you now give a lot more screen real estate but of course really wide movies like prometheus here will still give you black bars but standard 16 by 9 like tv show will fill the screen and will no longer have the uh, letterboxing you get with the iphone 4 and 4s now iOS 6 on the iPhone 5 is pretty similar to iOS 6 on the iPhone 4S with very similar features, but there are a few new ones. One of them obviously is LTE capability. So if you go to settings, general and cellular, you now have an enable LTE toggle there. Also the camera app has been changed. So if you go to the camera app, you now find a different user interface here. So you can see you have this larger shutter release along with this dark bar around it. Uh, so for example, we can start shooting photos, and you can see it's an extremely fast camera, very, very quick. You also have the panorama mode, which the iPhone 4S also has. So basically, if you go to panorama mode, hit the shutter release, 
and start scanning around. It will coach you. Make sure you keep stay inside the lines and it will record a nice panorama for you. Stitch it all together automatically and you have a 28 megapixel image to uh, share with anybody you want. Now another feature new to the iPhone 5 is the ability to snap photos while recording videos. So we can just shoot this video right now. You can see we have this shutter release for the camera. So you can go ahead and start taking photos and again it's just as fast. So you, you can do both at the same time. Again pretty nice. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, but before I leave, I want to know which color do you like best, black or white? Let me know in the comment section below. So I'm going to have more coverage on the iPhone 5, so stay tuned for that. And until then, see you in the next video.